Welcome back. I do not have to tell you that smoking in your car with your children is dangerous to their health, but now it's also against the law. Yeah, we're here with Kevin Nelson. He's a local pediatrician and founded the group Pediatricians Against Secondhand Smoke, which is a, it's a good thing. Now, I mean, there's obvious reasons why you should not smoke around kids, but what are some of the less obvious reasons why smoking in a car with kids is extra bad? Well, smoking in a car is a small enclosed space, and toxin levels go up by about 30 percent or 30 times above normal. Um, in the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, uh, they set levels on toxic uh, levels of toxins, and in a car, even with the windows down, those levels are 10 times higher than the levels that the EPA says are toxic. So wow. it's a serious concern. And what are the repercussions that your children will see down the road? Because I think a lot of times maybe you're just thinking, okay, it's my problem, I'm addicted to cigarettes, but it's only hurting me. But obviously you've got little people that you're in charge of that it's also hurting. Right. We've got you know, small children, their lungs are still developing. Um, and children that are exposed to secondhand smoke, particularly in a small closed space like a car, even with the windows down, they, um, they will, there's a higher rate of SIDS, SIDS sudden mm -hmm. death syndrome. There's more pneumonia, more asthma, and other childhood illnesses as well. Uh, so the governor just signed a bill into law last week that prohibits this kind of activity. Talk a little bit about the bill and why this is so important. So it's really important, and uh, you know one of the reasons for that it makes uh, it makes it illegal to smoke in a car when a child under 16 is present. Mm -hmm. um, and what this says is that Utah places a high value on the health of children, um, and that even with the windows down, um, th there's still toxic levels of tobacco smoke in cars if they're smoking in a car. Okay. And is this a secondary offense or can you actually be pulled over for that alone? No, it is a secondary offense. Um, and there's a, there's a minor fine and that can actually be waived if the person uh, decides to enroll in a smoking cessation course. And it's not necessarily just smoking in cars, but smoking around kids in general is not a good idea. Right. We're talking about in cars here, but in general, we don't want to have children around secondhand smoke. The American Academy of Pediatrics has said that there's no safe level of secondhand smoke for children. And we know that smoking is a tough habit to kick, but there is a quit line that people can call. We want to give you that number right now. It is 1-800-QUIT-NOW. You can also visit utahquitnet.com. And this is possible, right? Parents can make this decision and they can make it happen for their children. Absolutely. In my practice, I talk to children and to families every day. And I, I talk to parents who have successfully quit. It's something that can be done. It's the single most important thing they can often do for their health and for the health of their children. Right on. Thanks very much, Dr. Freeman. Thank you. John. Dr. Appreciate Kevin it. Nelson. We're going to check in now with Sterling for a look at our weather, I think. Never we will mind. actually be right back in just a minute. <laughs>